Well, it is time for another edition of Stable or Horse Stable featuring Gnome 3. Now, if you don't have a clue what I am talking about, a while back on one of the Tosscasts, I believe it was a Linux 18 Tosscast, I coined a new term called Stable or Horse Stable. Basically, stable meaning an operating system that is rock solid, or horse stable meaning something that is, well, horse doo doo. So, GNOME 3, one year later. Now, I am not talking about GNOME 3.4 or the extensions that you can add from, I believe it's extensions, extensions.gnome.org. I am not reviewing that. I am reviewing the default download that I have here. Now, basically, what I did, I logged out of Ubuntu and logged into the GNOME 3 desktop session. So, what do you think is going to happen? Well, stick around because we are going to break out the shovel. Okay, as you see here, I have the system monitor up. This is Ubuntu 11.10, Onira Gosselot, GNOME version 3.2.1, and, and as you can see, I have a dual core processor. Let's take a look at the stable first. I like the clean desktop here. Simple black background, nothing fancy. If you wanted to change this, you right click, change desktop background. And you can choose from various wallpapers here, uh, here, which is nice. Another a cool feature of this is the All Settings tab here at the top left. And you can go into System Settings and change this, or change the way your, in my case, the way uh, my laptop would function. Now this is stable, this is cool. The top right, my username Toss today, a drop down menu for that, for the battery, for my wireless network, the sound, universal access settings, time and date drop down menu calendar. Th this is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. And I also like the hot corner. This is cool. Another thing which is nice about this, this seems to run pretty zippy. Now I do have a dual core with three gigs of RAM and it does run fine and it is stable. So overall, the features that I just talked about, I would call quite stable. Let's go into the horse stable. The top panel, I cannot right click to add applets the way I could in the previous GNOME version or add another panel at the bottom or move this panel. Also, if I go into right click here, change desktop background, in GNOME 2 I believe there was an option at the bottom to something like get more desktop backgrounds or get more wallpapers. Can't do that here. I kind of missed that shortcut. Maybe that might be nitpicking, but that's a little bit horse stable in my opinion. Now, this also has a very quirky shutdown menu. Six steps to shut down my laptop. Let me show you what I mean. Follow my mouse cursor. Step number one, navigate to Toss Today. Step number two, left click. Step number three, navigate down to suspend. Step number four, push and hold Alt on your keyboard. Step number five, hit power off. And finally, step number six, click power off to shut down my laptop. Six steps to shut down my computer. Let's break out the shovel on that one, shall we? And finally, this has a terrific, wonderful built-in screen recorder. And I believe the way you make this work is on your keyboard, you push and hold a shortcut function. Control, Alt, Shift, R, I believe. And you are automatically recording your desktop. And it's actually quite stable and kind of high quality. But it doesn't record sound. Now, 
I had no idea that the GNOME developers really enjoyed watching silent movies. That's it. So, what is my conclusion for GNOME 3, the original GNOME 3? Well, I'm kind of stuck in between. I enjoy using it. It's easy to navigate to or navigate through it. That's stable, but it feels somewhat incomplete, and I really find myself missing GNOME 2. And because it's not as customizable as GNOME 2, then I would have to call that horse stable. And really, six steps to shut down my computer? What kind of shoveling mode is that? Now finally let me say yes there are extensions and add-ons that you can add from the extensions website to make this more functional. I am not reviewing that. I just reviewed the default download for GNOME 3 and basically again I just log in and out of my desktop environment. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tweaked this to your liking? Have you downloaded GNOME 3.4? Does it work much better or not really? Let me know. Personally, I miss GNOME 2. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in your stable future. Bye.